Okay, Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. So now let's proceed to subtopic 3.2 which is about mitosis. Okay, so I hope you can take note for this subtopic because of what? Okay, you have to know how to explain what happened in the stages okay, of the mitosis. Okay, so before we start, firstly we look at the definition. So actually what is mitosis? Okay, so mitosis is a type of nuclear division. Okay, nuclear division in here actually we refers to the karyokinesis which produce two daughter cell each having the same number of chromosome as the parent cell okay so you have to remember mitosis is a type of nuclear division so means that it will involve the division of the nucleus okay which at the end of the mitosis it will produce two daughter cell and the daughter cell will have the same number of the chromosome with the parent cell okay and then if you look at here, daughter cell have same ploidy number and chromosome as their parent cell. So what is the ploidy number if parent cell is 2N? So 2N is refers to its ploidy. So 2N2 adalah diploid. So if parent cell is 2N equal to 4. So 4 here we refers to the number of the chromosome. So at the end of the mitosis, okay, so it will produce two daughter cell which is it is also is 2n equal to 4. Ha, so maksudnya dari segi ploidy numbernya adalah sama dan juga dari segi bilangan kromosomnya akan sama dengan parent cell. So that is my mitosis. And then daughter cell are genetically identical to the parent cell and to themselves. Okay, so since okay, uh, the number of the chromosome of the daughter cells are same with the parent cell so the daughter cells are genetically identical to the parent cell and to themselves because of what okay in the process of mitosis berbeza dengan meiosis dekat meiosis kita ada proses yang kita panggil sebagai crossing over tapi dekat mitosis okay tidak berlaku crossing over pada dia punya parent cell so that's why dari segi genetic content okay of the daughter cell ni dia akan sama dengan parent cell. Okay, so let's say if the question asks you to draw and explain the stages of mitosis when parent cell 2N equal to 4 so remember 2N will refer to the ploidy of the cell which is it is diploid. 4 will refer to the uh, number of the chromosome. So how to draw? Okay, so before we start okay, first of all you have to remember uh, for the process of mitosis, it has four stages. Okay, four important stages. The first one we call as prophase. Next, metaphase. Then, anaphase. The last one, uh, telophase. Okay, so we look one by one. Okay, so we look at prophase first. Okay, so how to draw? So, this is the structure of the animal cell. Okay, so for the prophase here, firstly, you have to draw four chromosome. Okay, inside of the nucleus here okay inside of the nuclear envelope here so awak kena lukis empat lah one two three four because of what based on the question they mention 2n equal to four and then you have to draw okay the other structure in the cell okay so let's say here it this is the centrosome with a pair of centrio okay and then this is also a centrosome with a pair of the centrio and then the and the star shaped structure here so this one we call as aster Okay, and then based on the structure of the chromosome here, dia punya appearance dia adalah di dalam bentuk sister chromatid. Okay, so how to explain? Let's say you have to explain about chromosomal behavior. So, chromosomal behavior means that you have to explain what happened to the chromosome. Okay, so firstly, chromatin. Uh, chromatin actually I already discussed in the previous video. So, during prophase, chromatin become more tightly coiled and condense you have to mention both tightly coil and condense into chromosome okay so once this chromatin is tightly coil and condense so what happened so that's why it will become visible with like microscope so that's why if the cell division does not occur so the appearance of the chromatin it, uh, it is in the structure of the thread like structure macam structure berbenang dan juga dia adalah invincible Okay, nah, tetapi bila sahaja uh, bermulanya proses uh, mitosis di mana uh, bermula dengan stage prophase. So, what happen to the chromatin? Chromatin will become more tightly coiled and condensed. So, once it is condensed, so the chromosome will become visible with light microscope. Okay, and then each of chromosome consists of two identical sister chromatid 
joint at centromere. So if you look at the structure of the chromosome here, okay, it will consist of two sister chromatid which is identical. Okay, whereby this sister chromatid is joined at the centromere. Okay, so what are the other events? Okay, that occurs in prophase. So nucleolus disappear. So nucleolus Okay, will be disappear. And then centrosome, so here is the centrosome, will move away from each other to the opposite pole. So it will start to move away, okay, to each other, from each other to the opposite pole. And then for, uh, from ester, so this is the ester, it will form mitotic spindle. Uh, so this is the mitotic spindle. So from the ester, okay, akan terbentuknya mitotic spindle, okay. And then nuclear envelope disintegrate. Nah, so this nuclear envelope will be disintegrate, which it will leave the chromosome within cytoplasm of the cell. Macam ni lah. Ha, maksudnya dekat sini tak ada nuclear envelope. Okay, sebab apa? Pada stage prophase, nuclear envelope will be disintegrate. Okay. And then you have to know okay, about the structure of the kinetochore microtubule and also the non-kinetochore microtubule. So if you look at the diagram here, okay, uh, at the centromer here, actually it has a protein that we call uh, that we call as kinetochore. So if the spindle fiber or mitotic spindle attached to the kinetochore at the centromer, so we call this spindle fiber or Uh, we call this mitotic spindle as kinetochore microtubule. So, kalau yang macam ni, okay, this spindle fiber does not attach to the centromere. Uh, so, this one we call as non-kinetochore microtubule. Okay. So, now we proceed to metaphase. Okay, the next stage of mitosis is metaphase. So, what happen during metaphase? Centrosome are at opposite poles of a cell. So, if you look at this structure, centrosome is already reached to the opposite poles. Okay, setiap poles ni dia akan ada centrosome. And then what happen to the sister chromatid? Ah, so, this is important. Okay, the chromosomal behavior in metaphase is this point. The sister chromatid arrange themselves at the metaphase plate or sister chromatid align okay at the metaphase plate uh, so remember since this cell is 2n equal to 4 so you have to draw 1 2 3 4 chromosome and how to draw the spindle fiber here must attach okay to the centromere nampak uh, so mesti kena tunjukkan attach okay spindle fiber ataupun kita panggil sebagai non kinetochore microtubule okay which does not attach to any of the sister chromatid It should be overlapping. Maksudnya awak tak boleh sambung garisan ni. Ha, dia mesti kena terputus. Sebab apa satu spindle fiber datangnya daripada okay, ester from this first centrosome. And then the other one datang daripada uh, centrosome ataupun ester yang kedua. So dia tak boleh bersambung. Ha, so dia mesti kena overlapping. Okay. And then next we proceed to the next stage which are anaphase. Okay so what happen during anaphase? Centromere split. Ha, so if you look at this one Centromere pada asalnya dia macam ni Tapi during anaphase So what happen to the centromere Centromere will be split Okay And also kinetochore microtubule shorten Awak akan nampak ha, This kinetochore microtubule akan shorten Okay And centrosome uh, And centromere Okay actually this one is centromere Okay centromere move first Okay, uh, centromere move first, not centrosome. Okay, centromere move first because of what? If you look at the position, okay, of the centromere here, centromere ni dia mesti kena facing, okay, to the centrosome here. Uh, Sama lah macam ni. So, awak tak boleh lukis dia punya, uh, kita kata the structure of the chromatids tu menghadap centrosome. Dia mesti kena centromere yang move first. Okay, so this is centromere, okay, not centrosome. Okay, and then what happens? Sister chromatid separate. Ha, so, if you look at the structure, pada asalnya sister chromatid is like this. So, once centromere move first, so the sister chromatid will separate and move apart toward opposite pole. Ha, so, the diagram should be like this. Okay, and then each separated chromatid is now considered as one chromosome or daughter chromosome. Okay, so if you look at the diagram, how to draw, remember for the uh, microtubule or the spindle fiber which does not attach to any of the chromosome. So you have to draw overlapping like this. 
Okay, and then uh, the second tip, okay, you have to draw centromere like this. Centromere must be facing to the centrosome. Barulah kita lukis the structure of the, dia punya chromosome tu. Okay, and then how to explain? Okay, for this point, sister chromatid separate and move. Mesti kena ada dua-dua uh, point here. Mesti kena separate and move. Awak tak boleh cerita sister chromatid separate to opposite pole sahaja. Mesti kena ada perkataan separate and move move ok ok so now we look at the last stage of mitosis which are telophase ok so how to draw the cell ok of telophase stage so kalau awak nak lukis cell dalam telophase ni make sure the cells tu dia adalah memanjang sedikit macam ni lah ok sebab apa selepas sahaja berlakunya telophase ok so the process will be proceed with cytokinesis because of what cytokinesis it will divide the cell into two Okay, so samalah dengan anafis tadi. Ha, sel pun dia akan memanjang sedikit macam ni. Okay. So if you look at the telophase, okay, chromosome reach the respective pole. Chromosome reach their respective pole. So if you look at each poles of the uh, cell here, okay, so since the parent cell it has four chromosomes, so means that in each of the nucleus, okay, of this cell it has one, two, three, four. This one also it will have one, two, three, four chromosome. Okay, then you have to remember in telophase the cells are not divide yet. Ha, yang divide cuma adalah nucleus sahaja. So that's why kita katakan mitosis tu sebagai karyokinesis or the nuclear division. Okay, so nuclear envelope reform. So if you look at here, nuclear envelope is reform. And then two daughter nuclei is formed in the cell. Two daughter nuclei actually refers to this one. Nah, ni adalah first daughter nuclei. This is the second daughter nuclei. But the cells does not divide yet. Dia masih lagi berada dalam satu sel yang sama. And then what happened to the chromatid? Chromatid uncoid and lengthen. Okay. And it will become invisible again. Okay. So, chromosome will become less condensed. Kalau kita compare tadi, untuk prophase, chromatin tu dia akan jadi tightly coid and condensed. Tapi bila sahaja, okay, berlakunya telophase. So, what happened to the chromatids? Dia akan uncoid. Okay. And lengthen. And also it will become invisible again. Okay. And then, uh, beside that, spindle fiber will be disintegrate. No claw like reappear. Okay, so we can consider mitosis is now complete. Means that the nucleus is already divided. Or the division of one nucleus into two genetically identical nuclei is complete. Okay, uh, so this is the process of mitosis.